All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a very interesting conjunction happening from some months. And I've been seeing out different events uh, that have been taking place recently. And I was wondering which conjunction is causing this. And to my surprise, <laughs> I see that there is this conjunction of uh, Rahu and Uranus. So Rahu and Uranus, uh, Uranus, as you know, stays in a sign for a very long time. And I'm in drikpanchang.com. And here it says, uh, October 30th, Rahu will transit into the sign of Pisces. Uh, and true Rahu will transit to uh, Pisces on November 29th. So depending on which you take, either you take true nodes or mean nodes. Either it's October 30th or 29th uh, November this year, 2023. So Uranus will still be in Aries. So that means till October, November, we will see this conjunction. And we know what uh, these energies represent, right? So for example, Rahu, Rahu can show... Uh, a lot of innovations. Rahu can show a lot of things related to uh, artificial intelligence. Rahu can show things which are very unusual. Okay, Rahu can show things which uh, is sometimes not very conventional or not uh, very much accepted in society. Rahu can show borders. Rahu can show uh, breaking of borders indeed. Okay, so as we see that to and when i'm making this video today we see moon is also conjunct so moon rahu and uranus they are conjunct for today <clears throat> and they will be for tomorrow also hopefully so what happens when this transit occurs actually if you see uh, vedic astrology they do not generally consider uranus neptune pluto <clears throat> But if you try to study Rahu and if you try to study, uh, I mean, you try to study Rahu from uh, a Vedic perspective and you try to study Uranus from a Western astrology perspective, topical astrology perspective, you will see surprisingly that the qualities are very much alike. I mean, uh, not, not exactly word to word, but... <clears throat> What I have seen is Moon, uh, or not Moon, Mars Rahu conjunction is somewhat similar to Uranus. Actually, this is this is my personal experience, uh, which means if a person has a Mars Rahu in a chart together, that's as very similar to having Uranus in that house. Okay, so for example, if somebody has Mars Rahu in the first house, I have seen you know these people are very big visionaries. They can be. Uh, visionary in a good way or they can be crooks or criminals of the highest order they can be very eccentric they can be very unusual they can be very different they can be very uh, they can be very abusive sometimes similarly something that i have seen from the placement of uranus in the first house nonetheless um, Rahu, as you know, represents things which are very sudden. That is one of uh, the characteristics of Rahu Ketu. They are sudden and unpredictable. And uh, same is Uranus. If you study, uh, you will see Uranus also represents you know, like something which is very, it's like a shock. You know, it's like a 10,000 volt uh, jhatka, as you call it. It's like a shock. It's like blows things apart sometimes. Uh, but Uranus is also known as disruptor. Okay, so whenever Uranus is transiting into a sign, then you know there something related to that sign is getting disrupted. <laughs> or uh, depending on your ascendant, whichever house uh, that falls in your uh, horoscope, it may be possible that you know you you uh, some something related to that house is getting ended, and there are new beginnings. So that trait is a bit similar to Ketu. You know, it's like when Ketu transits in a house, something is ending and something new is starting actually. So the Rahu Ketu have very similar characteristics, especially Rahu. 90% of Rahu's characteristics match with Uranus. And uh, Uranus has some special qualities, like you know, it's very innovative and uh, it shows a lot of new things. 
um, Uranus can also show electricity and I mean, of course, uh, not literally electricity, but electricity as a disruptor of, you know, some industry or it can show electronic uh, vehicles and all this, right? So now this conjunction is occurring and we see all this, you know, uh, artificial intelligence is popping up lately, you know, from last one year, if you see, uh, especially I've been closely tracking uh, LinkedIn uh, from last one year. And I've been seeing that there are so many unbelievable uh, achievements which AI, artificial intelligence has had. And to my surprise, it it has to be Rahu and Uranus because both represent something which can... <clears throat> totally disrupt human society so for example ai now there is this you know chat gpt as most of you would have seen it so what is chat gpt it's basically like a software which answers anything that you ask okay so for example if you write uh, there you know how do i build a website so it will give you stepwise guidelines <clears throat> uh, maybe someday we can uh, ask chat gpt how to uh, predict from a horoscope <laughs> i have not done it maybe I, I i will do it tomorrow let's see what it says <clears throat> and not only that there are like 100 maybe 1000 other websites you know there was <clears throat> there was one website i was seeing uh, the other day what people are doing is they are taking uh, they are asking a question to chat gpt and then chat gpt is answering <laughs> But the problem with chat GPT and all this AI generated text is <clears throat> Google and other softwares can very easily identify if they are human written or they are, you know, AI generated. So there is another software. I'm not able to recall the name. Maybe if you know, which I am sure some of you will, you can write down in the comments. Uh, there is another software. It's again AI based where you copy the answers from chat gpt and you paste it there and it will rephrase and restructure uh, the statements and the words and then if you take it to a tester which tests if the code is uh, human written or it's a ai generated code then it almost uh, gives 99 percent uh, probability that this code is actually human written okay although it's originally from uh, chat gpt which is ai based so <clears throat> these these are like uh, these are things we, so because of this you know many people have asked me because of chat gpt you know <laughs> oh i am a writer i am a programmer i am a web developer or i am an app developer will my will i lose my job you know and that too keeping into consideration all these layoffs that we see right which has been happening in all these big companies so <clears throat> along with that uh, we see Rahu. Uh, Rahu is also uh, the core lord of Aquarius, as we know. So what is Aquarius? Aquarius is the 11th house, right? So is the house of desire, fulfillment of desire, is the house of wishes, dreams, hopes, aspirations. <laughs> so when, um, Ra when Rahu and Uranus are conjunct, then it can ha it can happen that a lot of our hopes and aspirations are shattered or uh, shattered in a good way or in a bad way, depending on the horoscope. But it is very much possible that a lot of things uh, will be fulfilled, but in ways which are unbelievable. Like recently, I was seeing uh, another video. Uh, this is somewhere in Japan. Okay, now, Of course, this is not nothing new, but uh, in Japan, I was seeing there was this video uh, where... You go to a restaurant, everything is done by a robot. So there, I mean, there, there is one or two uh, people, one or two persons there, you know, coming and cleaning. Uh, but it's fully robotic. You, The robots will come and serve you the food, you know, you will order. And the robots will bring you the machine. You will put your card and the billing is done. And I, I, I don't know, honestly, who is doing the cooking. Maybe it's still um, done by humans. Hopefully, or maybe by robots. I don't know by whom. But the thing is, uh, we are seeing that uh, there are 
so many different uh, positions in society which are being overtaken by actually uh, the robots by ai and ai and uh, machine learning and all this these are not things of the future you know these are not like future trends this is something literally which is happening right now these are not some fancy trends which can manifest in the future these are things which are actually happening now and uh, we can very clearly see that the pace at which this transformation is taking place it's like uh, imagine you have something in your pocket and you ask anything to that uh, device to this mo mobile and then you get all the answers right so so many other things so many other people are feeling you know maybe they will become irrelevant because they are just giving out information which uh, which can be found easily anywhere in the internet okay so uranus also represents something which is very unique which is like your usp you know it's like a unique cell point or something it's like something that you are known for so now in my opinion because of this conjunction and especially we have this till end of november end of october so it's almost the full year another nine ten months so i feel now is a time where we have to do something unique because of which we will be known like known not for the next thousand years nobody will be known for the next thousand years <laughs> but which will help us to uh, retain our jobs because the way uh, ai is eating into all these you know jobs it is it's unbelievable especially software developers and uh, there's so much worry and especially about writers you know writers they are very much anxious you know because ai is writing all this what do they do right uh, but if we have something unique you know if we have some communication skills that that is very difficult to replicate using you know <clears throat> ai i mean uh, the AI, ai cannot do the job of a consultant right it can't i mean of course it can it can do 90% of the job of a consultant i mean chat gpt is like a consultant only right you are asking and it's answering you but there's still that 10% window which uh it's very difficult for ai to tap into right because the ai may not have things like you know compassion and empathy which can change the course of uh, interactions with uh, interactions in consulting with clients right which is one of the most important skills of a consultant right uh, to be able to put yourself in the other person's shoes and you know, give suggestions and not just keep blabbering right so therefore <clears throat> this is a conjunction which will force us to bring out the individuality in us because it's happening in the sign of aries this is uh, this, this is a sign which uh, shows us who we are now aries literally does not represent us uh, it represents more like our body you know body means not the appearance i mean the appearance also but our physical existence and nowadays you know things have become so much about the physical existence you know like a lot of subtle things have dwindled and degraded and deteriorated because of you know all this materialistic progress so it is becoming more and more about the gross things in life you know it's like uh, money sensual enjoyment food and traveling and all these are all gross experiences uh, which which are primarily gross which are primarily external right they may or may not fulfill us internally <clears throat> so therefore this becomes very important because if you see your originality that is coming from the sign of leo not from the sign of aries okay uh, it could be to some extent but primarily from leo so therefore physical existence uh, struggle uh, these these things uh, have gone for a toss because now we are forced to invent something and aries uh, aries and uranus both are uh, inventions basically because what is aries like um, the father and mother has basically invented a, another child right so that that's aries basically i mean you could say invented or created or whatever and i mean because every child is unique so you can say it's like a invention which nobody does right although uh, most of the people they behave the same way but it's still an invention in itself right so therefore <clears throat> now is the time we have to actually look deep down within ourselves because do not forget from 
the sign of Aries, Rahu will aspect uh, Leo and Sagittarius with his fifth and ninth aspect, right? So, <clears throat> therefore, and also if you see the seventh aspect, so Ketu is in the sign of Libra, okay? And Uranus is also watching Libra. So, it's it's like how we present ourselves to the other other side, you know, Libra is like the public. So, how do we present ourselves to other people? It's not just merely the physical appearance, but it is also what kind of thought processes do we have? What kind of ideas do we have? What What is that within us which nobody else can copy? Okay. Uh, if we have skills which people can copy very easily, uh, but... Uh, uh, then, then then we may become redundant not may not be now but after 10 years or 15 or 20 years or maybe after 30 years okay it depends on the age of course <clears throat> but if we have certain skills like you know we can uh, understand people understanding humans i think uh, will be one of the greatest uh, requirements of this century and whoever can deal with humans they they will i in my opinion they will uh, have their way out always because ultimately you know if you see after 50 years you know maybe everything will become all the work which can be automated would have will be automated hopefully or unfortunately or you say fortunately by the by the next 50 years you know maybe when we are um, 70s or 80s or 90s then we want something Oh, we just uh, press a button and the food arrives in maybe 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, whatever. I mean, it, it's bizarre the way things are going, right? Uh, but nonetheless, uh, if we have the certain skills which nobody can steal from us, right? It's like nobody can, uh, they can, they cannot take away the copyright, you know, they cannot patent it. It's us. It is our skill. It's our talent. It is our ability which nobody can give it or take it, then we will survive this market. Or else if we are dependent on things like, oh, we are in a big company, you know, so we'll never be laid off, you know, because it's a big company, right? Big organization, it's, you know, fancy Facebook or Amazon or Google, you know, like uh, except Apple, most of the companies they have fired like 50, 60,000 employees as you have seen. Right? Of course, that doesn't, that I, I don't think that has happened because of this. Uh, but I think there's 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 are certain other things, you know, that is also because of Saturn and Aquarius. The moment Saturn entered Aquarius around that time, we saw all this layoffs uh, culminated, you know, it like reached the peak, okay, mid of January around. But the layoffs were starting from before itself you know, due to Corona and the war and inflation and all this like, you know, price hikes, you know, oil especially. <clears throat> So it's very important for us to look within and see what is that which we are offering, which nobody else is offering. And the moment we uh, understand that within us that, and we explore that and we share it with others and we try to help others with that, uh, that, that is the moment we will realize that uh, prosperity is ours. All right. Thank you very much. And please utilize this conjunction properly. Now learn more about AI, learn about things. The best thing to do during this conjunction is to see what you are doing in your life. <laughs> Two things. You see your life. What are those things which you can do in your life using AI faster, Okay, using technology so that you, you can uh, increase your productivity. That is one thing you can do. And what is that you are doing in your profession, which AI can do, right? Because if whatever you are doing, everything AI can do, then that, that's a dangerous situation, right? May not be now, maybe after five years. And of course, as I said, the third thing most important is see what is there in you, which AI cannot, okay? Uh, I mean, this is not just related to AI. It's not just a AI video, but... It's important for us because the way the world is changing, you know, with so many things, you know, like uh, with this coming of AI, then the gaming sector is coming, it's becoming virtual, then there is cryptocurrency, which has, you know, come in the last years. 
and then uh, there are all this like uh, millionaires billionaires bill gates especially he's buying up you know all this farm lands you know this is what also i have seen in the us <clears throat> so we got to understand what's happening actually okay i mean not that we have to just keep on grazing on all videos in youtube but it's good to be aware and to understand one's uniqueness all right thank you very much for your patience if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation please visit my website down below god is there with you all the time even if <laughs> there is ai <laughs> so he will answer questions which chat gpt or google or ai cannot just look to him and you will find him thank you